Now let us discuss about variables in JavaScript. Like any other programming languages, in JavaScript also variables are used for storing the values and the value of a variable may change during execution of the program. So what is the purpose of a variable? We are using variable for storing the values. Now let us see about variable declaration. So before you use a variable in a JavaScript program, first you must declare it. Variables are declared with the where keyword as follows. So first we have to declare the variables before using that variable. So how we can declare a variable in JavaScript with the help of where keyword we declare the variable. Now let us see about syntax to declare a variable. Here we are using a keyword called where space variable name. If there are more than one variable, then they are separated by comma symbol. Okay, like where, let the first variable name is v1, comma v2, v3, and switch semicolon. If there are multiple variables, then they are separated by comma and switch semicolon. Now let us see about the rules for declaring the variables. Okay, uh, the general rules for declaring the variables. The general rules for constructing names for the variables. Here these rules are also called as identifiers. So identifiers are mainly useful in order to name a variable or array or function or an object. Let us see the rules here. The first rule is here the variable name can contain letters, digits, underscore, and dollar signs. So letters means which may be either uppercase letters or lowercase letters. Digits from 0 to 9. And we can use two symbols in a variable. They are underscore and dollar symbol. So let us see the second rule. Variable name must begins with a letter. So that means it may be either uppercase letter or lowercase letter. Or special characters like underscore and dollar. So a variable name can begin with either a letter or special symbols like underscore and dollar symbol. Variable names are case sensitive. That means small y and capital Y are different variables. Here variables are case sensitive. So where space, let name of the variable is hi. So this is one variable. Let, let we have another variable, hi. So this is another variable, hi in uppercase letters is another variable. Let us take one more variable, h, a, i. So this is another variable, okay. So with the help of the three letter, totally we can have eight combinations. So totally we can write eight variables, okay. Here the lowercase and uppercase variables are entirely different. Next, let us see the next point. Reserved words, that means keywords, keywords cannot be used as variable names. If is a keyword, so we can't use if as a variable name. For is a keyword, so we can't use for as a variable name. Now let us see about variable initialization. Initialization means assigning a value to the variable. Assigning a right hand side value to the left hand side variable while performing the initialization left hand side must be a variable left hand side should not contains a value so let the statement is like this where 10 is equal to a this is invalid statement why because this left hand side should be a variable name okay next let us see one more important point javascript is a dynamically typed language Dynamically type language means here we don't have any data type. That variable is declared with the help of the uh, where keyword. So depends upon the value which we assign, the variable will get the data type during the execution. Let me have a statement like this, where a is equal to 10. Now a will become 
number data type next statement next in the next statement we can't write like var a is equal to why because already a is declared a is a variable so we can't use var here a variable name can't be declared multiple times we can declare a variable only once but we can make use of that variable any number of times let a is equal to ram now a will become string a will become string so depends upon the value which we assign to the variable the variable will get the data type so let the next statement is a is equal to a is equal to so this is an array a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 now a will become array okay so that is about what is a variable how to declare a variable and variable initialization now let us discuss about variables with the help of a sample program uh, by taking some uh, data types uh, so let the first statement is like this here we are writing the javascript within the script tag we can use script tag either in head section or body section where let the name of the variable is my number so my number is equal to 72 so now now my number value is what 72 next where my name is equal to my name is equal to so within the double within the quotations we can use either single quotation or double quotation sudhakar now my name will become string initially my number is equal to 72 so my number will become which data type number data type now my name will become string data type next what are the other basic data types null so where is null is equal to null so null indicates that that variable has no value but we can assign a value to the variable later it is our choice we can assign a value at any uh, location as we want next where where uh, let us use boolean value is boolean is equal to is boolean is equal to boolean value is either true or false so is null is null will becomes null data type whereas is boolean will become boolean data type okay next where let us declare a variable called a a is declared but not initialized then a will becomes which data type undefined data type okay next where let us take some array b is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 now let us display the values here in this way we can declare the variables and we can access them also so document dot write off where document dot write off my number first to display my number so my number is plus plus my number concatenation is done with the help of plus operator plus here use some header tag so that uh, the content will be displayed in the uh, with larger font size and bold style uh, we have to write header within the quotations okay then only header formatting will be applied so likewise display the remaining data types variables content also so control c so what are the basic data types here so the first one is number data type second one second variable will become string data type this third variable is null will become null data type is boolean will become boolean data type a becomes undefined data type b becomes array here what we are doing we are focusing on uh, just displaying the content okay displaying the content now let us display now let us display my name my name is my name is so display my name display my name yeah next to display next one what is the next one null is null is is null is is null is now display is null value so what is is null value null we will get null as the output okay null as the output okay we can provide some value to that variable later in the program okay just only one double quotations next next one is is boolean so is boolean is is boolean is so an example program to demonstrate variables is boolean is boolean is boolean next is next one is a so display a 
so a is a is display a plus a and the last one is what array so what is array content array means b so b is just display b display b just only one double quotation control s now let us run the program let us run the program so if you observe here my number is 72 my name is sudhakar is null is null we can provide the value later it is our choice is boolean is true a is undefined b is 123 okay 1 2 3 first element second element third element they are separated by comma symbol while displaying so this is about uh, uh, variables in javascript